Hey, Ben Spicer, sports director here at My Town TV, coming your way with a special sports report. We're nearing the first full week of fall sports here in the state of Kentucky. And with that, athletic directors, coaches, and players have had plenty of protocol to abide by to make sure our seasons can continue across all sports. And such was the case on Saturday morning and afternoon out at Boyd County High School as Lady Lions volleyball coach Katie Neltner was working hard to put on the 2020 Lady Lions Invitational Tournament. As part of a delayed fall sports season in the state due to the COVID-19 pandemic and new regulations in place, area teams have been scrambling for games. Thus, this year's Lady Lions Invitational Volleyball Tournament took on a greater precedence in 2020. We were cut down to 24 games, and, and then when they added the restriction of only four matches in seven days, um, it kind of really hurt our schedule because we had had this scheduled, and then we had our Montgomery County Tournament scheduled, and so we probably had about 15, 16 games scheduled our first two weeks, so we had to keep this at all costs. So I'm, I'm thrilled that the, the other four teams were able to come and compete, and it just gives us an opportunity to get three or four games in today, and, and that's huge right now trying to hit our game limit. Spectators wore masks throughout the gymnasium at Boyd County High School and Casey Diamond Sports Complex Saturday morning and afternoon. Teams were spaced six feet apart on the benches, and coaches also donned facial coverings. This was just part of the protocols necessary to host the tournament that Coach Neltner and Boyd County Athletic Director Pete Fraley worked rigorously on to make a reality. Pete really, were, really worked hard. I was having some issues with um, the census and how many people could come in, and so when we were going to do a two-court tournament, Pete was like, ah, that cuts your fans down. Um, so that really wasn't feasible, so we kind of had to scramble, and you know, we were really blessed that Casey Diamond let us play two pool play games over there, which was awesome. It kind of... A, eradicated the need over here that way we could spread some of the games out spread out some of the spectators and only play one court here so Pete was instrumental in getting that done Brian over at Casey Diamond is great to us so um, there was a lot of effort that went into it a lot of work a lot of sanitizer but um, you know our, our custodians here are great getting everything cleaned up and you know sanitized so everyone stays healthy on top of that this tournament fielded some top teams in the area Ashland Boyd County Fairview Greenup County and Paintsville all descended upon BCHS to participate. Four of those five teams played in either the 15th or 16th region tournament last year. We tried to. I love that Paintsville comes up. Some of those girls are in our club and they're just solid athletic kids. Um, Paintsville is just a solid team all the way around. Don's a great coach. So I, I'm, I'm thrilled that they came up and, and they've been coming. I think this is their second or their third year here at the tournament. Um, Ashland solid, Greenup uh, solid, improving under Eric, and then Fairview. So yeah, we're seeing three of our district teams, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Ultimately, it was Coach Don Kenner's Paintsville Lady Tigers who came out on top. A big win early in the season for their program and moving forward in the unconventional 2020 sports year. A great event held not only by Boyd County High School, but Casey Diamond Sports Complex as well. Just showcasing how good things can be when a community comes together with a common goal. Let's all make sure we continue to wear our masks, stay six feet apart, so we can continue to have a fall sports season here in the state of Kentucky. With this special sports report, I'm Ben Spicer, Sports Director here at the My Town TV studio.